Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the C programming and data structures lecture. This is part five of application of stacks in fix to post fix conversion. So without any further delay, let's get started. In this presentation, we will learn how to evaluate the post fix expression using stack. In the previous presentation, we have already learned this, that how to convert an infix expression to its equivalent post fix form. In this presentation, we will actually try to evaluate the post fix expression with the help of stack only. So without any further delay, let's move on. Let's first get the idea. Previously, we were using stack to hold the operators for the purpose of converting an infix expression to a postfix expression. That's what we were doing, right? We were using stack to hold the operators and not the operands, right? So we were holding the operators onto the stack for the purpose of converting the infix expression to its equivalent postfix form. Now, this time we will use stack to hold the operands and not the operators. This is the main idea. We must hold the operands onto the stack instead of holding the operators. And we'll see the reason why. Of course, it is important to consider the algorithm as well. This time we will use stack to hold the operands and not the operators. Let's say for example, someone has provided the following postfix expression. Let's say someone has provided this postfix expression. 753 multiply 51 power divide plus 3 2 minus plus. This is the postfix expression we are available with. And now we have to actually evaluate this postfix expression with the help of stack, right? Obviously, we'll do this manually right now. Later on, we'll write the program for the same. But this is important that we must evaluate this expression properly. We must understand the idea behind how to do this. Okay. Here is an algorithm which actually helps us in evaluating the postfix expression. For this purpose, we have to scan the symbols of the given postfix expression from left to right. And for each symbol, we have to do the following. If symbol is an operand, then push it onto the stack. If symbol is an operator, then pop two symbols out of the stack and apply the operator on these symbols. Then push the result on the stack. After scanning all the symbols of the postfix expression, pop the remaining symbols out of the stack pop the remaining symbol, just one symbol, out of the stack and print it on the screen. The remaining symbol is the result obtained after evaluating the postfix expression. That symbol represents the result obtained after evaluating the postfix expression. Let's do this. Let's try to evaluate this algorithm step by step. First, we know that we are available with this postfix expression 753 star 51 power divide plus 32 minus plus and we have a stack, right? Now we will use the stack to evaluate this expression. For this, we have to scan the symbols of the given postfix expression from left to right. And for each symbol, we have to do the following. Fine. So let's scan the symbols one by one. We've encountered the symbol, isn't that so? This is an operand, right? If symbol is an operand, then push it on the stack. Simple. This time when we encounter an operand, we'll simply push that operand on to the stack. Okay, so we'll push this operand on the stack. After this, we know that what to do with this operand, right? We have to push this onto the stack. Then we will push this operand onto the stack. Now we have encountered this star, this multiplication operator. Now what to do with this? If symbol is an operator, then pop two symbols out of the stack and apply the operator on these symbols. We have to pop two symbols. This means we have to pop two operands out of the stack and we have to apply the operator on to those operands, right? This is making sense, okay? We will take two operands out of the stack and we will apply the operator on those operands. Here in this case, of course, these two operands will be evaluated, which means that we will pop these operands out of the stack and we will perform this operation onto these operands. This is making sense. This is how we usually evaluate the postfix expression, isn't that so? We have 5, 3 and star. We know that whenever we encounter an operator, we have to take the previous two operands and apply the operator onto these operands. That's what we are doing here. We are using stack for this purpose. We know that these are the two topmost elements of the stack. We'll apply this operator onto these two operands, which means we'll perform multiplication of these two numbers. Let's say A is 3 and B is 5, then result will be B into A. Understand this, this is very important. I'm talking about the order, okay? Here, if A is 3, let us assume that this is A and this is B, then it is very important to decide the order as well. B always comes first and A comes later. Understand this. Although it is not important in case of multiplication, but imagine if we have minus instead of star, then in that case, order does matter. Isn't that so? We cannot do 3 minus 5. We have to do 5 minus 3. 
right so this order is very important okay so we'll pop these two operands out of the stack that's what we will do and then we will perform this operation that is multiplication between these two operands so this is what we will get 15 right this is the result so obtained after performing this operation we'll get this result that is 15 in this way we would be able to evaluate the whole postfix expression one by one step by step right after this, of course, we have to push the result on the stack. Okay, we'll push 15 on to the stack. Fine. Actually, what we got is 5 into 3, which is 15. And we are simply pushing that 15. That is the result of the multiplication on to the stack. Simple. Now, the next symbol is 5. We'll simply push this symbol onto the stack. The next symbol is 1. We'll push the symbol onto the stack. After this, we have encountered this power operator right now what to do with this operator we already know this whenever we encounter an operator we'll pop the two symbols out of the stack and we will perform the given operation on to those symbols but we know that 5 comes before 1 here order does matter we cannot perform 1 to the power 5 we have to perform 5 to the power 1 right so we'll pop these symbols out of the stack and we will perform 5 to the power 1 which is equal to 5 right Eventually, we got this result. We'll push this symbol onto the stack after this. Now, we have encountered this division symbol again. We have to pop two symbols out of the stack. This time, we got 15 and 5. We'll perform the division of 15 and 5. It gives 3, right? And we'll then push this symbol onto the stack. This process is very simple. Postfix expression evaluation is extremely simple. Now, we have encountered the symbol plus again. This is an operator, therefore we'll pop two symbols out of the stack. This time we got 7 and 3. We'll add these two values and we'll get 10 as a result. Then after this, we'll push this 10 onto the stack. Now, we have encountered this 3. This is an operand. We'll push this onto the stack. After this, we'll push 2 onto the stack. Then, we have encountered this minus. We'll pop two symbols, 3 and 2. We'll perform the subtraction of 3 and 2. You can see this that obviously we cannot do 2 minus 3. We have to do 3 minus 2, right? This gives 1. We'll push the symbol onto the stack. And then after this, we have plus operator. We'll perform addition of these two. That is 10 plus 1. It gives 11. And finally, we will push this onto the stack. Now, this is the result so obtained. Understand, according to the algorithm, after scanning all the symbols of the postfix expression, pop the remaining symbol, that is 11 out of the stack and print it onto the screen. The remaining symbol is the result obtained after evaluating the postfix expression. So 11 is the result, right? This is the result so obtained. So after evaluating this expression, we'll get this result that is 11, okay? So output is 11. I hope the idea of how to evaluate a postfix expression with the help of stack is clear to you. You got everything in order to write our own program in C. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.